Hey everybody, what's up? I know the last video I did didn't have any audio. Um, I think that was because um, my phone had kind of quit working in some aspects. I was able to hear people on the other end, but they weren't able to hear me. So that may have had a, um, something to do with the volume not getting recorded last time. So, and all that video was just showing um, records that I had got that were inspired by other people in the VC. So really, um, the only thing that the audio would have helped in would have been to uh, show you who was the inspiration for each different record that I bought. Um, so you should still be able to visually see um, what those records were at least. Okay, so I'm doing an update for the collection. Um, I actually meant to put part of it in the last video, video but since um, the volume didn't work, we can put this on this video as well. So um, Monday, we went down to Sumter to see my family for um, Christmas so the kids could see the grandparents and everything. And um, so while I, we were down there, I stopped in the Music Gator. I haven't been in there in quite a while. I don't even remember the last time I was in there. I think the last time I was in there, I think that was when I picked up the ministry and, um, and death albums. Um, but anyway, so I knew that he had, um, a Lizzie Borden record there. I was hoping it would still be there. It'd been, like I said, a few months since I've been down there. Um, so luckily enough for me, it was still there. Um, original copyright still in the seal on the metal blade label, Lizzie Borden, Master of Disguise. So finally get to add him into my collection, some good um, American uh, West Coast heavy metal. And then happened to also end up getting, uh, luckily found, Another one that I didn't have from one of my favorite New Wave of British Heavy Metal bands, Raven, all for one. This is the fourth studio album I think I have of theirs. And um, so anyway, like this was $9. Lizzie was 14 but he let me have them both for 20 And another original, this one on the um, Megaforce record. And now to today, after I dropped my kids off, um, I decided to go into scratch and spin, go into the use section, and just kind of just kind of pilfer around. I've been listening to a lot of stuff lately that um, really isn't stuff I've typically listened to, like Rolling Stones and Elton John, and uh, let's see what else is there. Frank Zappa, um, what stuff? Uh, David Bowie stuff that rolling, you know, stuff that um, I really don't typically listen to. So I kind of went in looking for some of those. Didn't find a lot of that, but I did manage to pick up a few records uh, from the U section. And the first one I'm going to show you was the last one that I picked up. This is the uh, self titled debut from a band called Starfighters. I have never heard this before. I'd never heard of this band before. But when I looked at the record cover, it prompted me to go ahead and kind of look them up. And uh, apparently they seem to be a new wave of British heavy metal band. This one came out in 1981. So after this video, I'm actually going to um, slide it on. I, the first two I showed you, I, I listened to yesterday. I'd heard them before, obviously, but I spun them both yesterday. So I'm gonna, I plan on giving this a spin when this video is done. Uh, the next one, so the first uh, Fog Hat into the collection. This is Boogie Motel, which came out in, um, this is, I, I want to say late 70s, but I, uh, yeah, 79. And I had seen, I'd listened to a few Fog Hat uh, songs here and there. Um, I've seen uh, Scott Waters actually had posted this, this very album actually. And so I decided to, um, since it was there and I was just kind of, just trying to get some 
however much I could get for like around like 40 bucks. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up and put it in the collection. So the first fog head in the collection. Uh, another first and another blind buy, um, GTR, which is a, um, a super group of sorts. Um, some guys from, uh, yes, like Steve Howe. You also got Steve Hackett from Genesis. Uh, Jonathan Mover, Phil Spalding, and lead vocals are Max Bacon. I kind of like Yes from what I've, what I've heard a little bit here and there on Genesis. Still, like I said, trying to expand different things. So this is the only album that, that they put out that, I, that I'm aware of. And it's a self-titled. And it came out in like 1986 on Arista Records. Um... This one is the second is the first studio album for this artist. I have a live album that Ron Haggerty gave to me, uh, Frampton Comes Alive. And this is his album I'm In You, which um I paid six bucks for, and there was probably about there's at least four copies that I think he has there um at Scratch and Spin. Um coming out in 1977 on the A&M record label. Liked what I heard from the live album and so I figured I'd go ahead and start a little bit of a Frampton collection. Uh, next up, I already had two from this band and I believe this is the debut. Um, the first one I picked up was at... Uh, um, the thrift store that my friend Andy works at, I got that in a trillion record for like three bucks. And then um, my last trip, I think, or maybe the, either the first or second trip I made to Papa Jazz is when I picked up the second album. But this is the self-titled album from Stars. Really good kind of early. Um, this one from what Ron Haggard tells me has a real good kind of like a Kiss sound. And I do like his. So, <clears throat> uh, this record came out on seven, in 76 on the Capitol label. <clears throat> and to find it there, I hadn't seen it there before. And to find it for four bucks, I thought was pretty cool. And let's see, what we got? We got one more. The second Sweet Almond album now for me, Level Headed. The other one I have is Give Us a Wink. I paid 10 for the Give Us a Wink, but I only paid six for this. This was not, a, hadn't been there. Um, uh, recently, last other times I've, I've checked because I, I pretty much literally went through all the used stuff from A to S and I think this and this might have been the last one I picked up and I just kind of was like after S I was like okay I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here with what I had um, so uh, so 6 today this came out um, 77 on Capitol Records as well so 6 today 2 on Monday uh, total up to 321 now in just under eight months. So I may have a little bit of a problem. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.